Hey guys, so a few days ago a jailbreak app called SM Server released for free which allows us to send and receive texts, iMessages, and media to a web server hosted on our iPhone so that we can view it on any device. In this video, I'm going to go through all of the steps on how to get this app starting from jailbreaking your device. Keep in mind that this app is only for jailbroken or jailbreakable devices and for devices on at least iOS 13. If your device doesn't meet these requirements, then you might as well just close the video. Getting started now, we'll need to get our device jailbroken. For devices with A12 chips or higher, which are iPhone XR or XS and higher, we'll need to go through the process of jailbreaking with Alt Store and Uncover. If you have an A11 chip or lower, which are in devices iPhone X and lower, then you can use the easier jailbreaking tool called CheckRain, but you'll have to search for a guide on how to jailbreak with that, as I have an XS, and I'll be jailbreaking with Uncover. With a browser of your choice, navigate to uncover.dev. The O is a zero. Please make sure to download any jailbreaking tool directly from their site, as others can be packed maliciously. So, ignoring the giant download button, scroll down until you see the installation guide. Then, select your operating system of choice. I'm on Windows, so I'll select Windows. If your OS is different, you can simply just follow the instructions they list when you select your OS. So now it asks us to download iTunes. I'll download the 64-bit version since I have a computer not from 2005. This link directs us straight to Apple's iTunes download, so there's no need to go hunting for it yourself. Keep in mind, we must not use the universal Windows platform version that's in the Windows Store, as this will not work. Once it's done downloading, run the iTunes setup and install it. Once it's done installing, just click finish and it'll run itself. Go through any dialog boxes that appear, and at the top, click account and sign in to your Apple ID. Once you've logged in, now it's time to plug your phone into your computer and trust it. Once it's trusted, minimize iTunes. Now that we're done with iTunes, we go back to the Uncover website and download Alt Store by clicking the blue hyperlink in step two. Doing so will redirect you to the Alt Store website, and since I'm on Windows, I'm downloading the Windows version. Once it's done downloading, open the zip file and run altinstaller.msi. Simply go through the steps as any other normal installation. Click close. Now open Alt Server. It's going to say that iCloud is not found. Keep in mind this is not iTunes, so we actually need to download this. Once downloaded, run the iCloud setup, go through the installation process, and click finish. After clicking finish, it's going to say that your computer needs to be restarted for iCloud to work properly, but we don't care about that. Just click no. Now, we finally get to jailbreaking. Left click Alt Store in your taskbar, go down to install Alt Store, and select your device of choice. It'll ask for your Apple ID and password, type it in and click install. If everything goes according to plan, it should sign and install Alt Store on your phone. Now that we're on our iPhone, search your home screen for the Alt Store app. If you try opening it, it'll say that this app was signed by an untrusted developer and that we'll have to go to our device management to allow it. So let's go do that now. Tap Cancel, then open the Settings app. Once open, tap General, scroll down, and tap Device Management. It should have your Apple ID as text to its left. In this new menu, it's asking if you'd like to trust this developer. And since it's us, we do. So just tap trust and trust again. Alt Store should be fully functional at this point. Now we open Safari and navigate to the Uncover website. Loading it in our iPhone will allow the website to show a new button under download that says open in Alt Store. Tap that and click open. After some time, Alt Store will ask us for our Apple ID and password. Type it and click sign in. After it signs you in, confirm you know how Alt Store works and click got it. Give Alt Store about a minute to successfully sign and install and cover.
Once Uncover is showing as sideloaded, you can go back to your home screen and find that the Uncover app is successfully installed. Since Uncover is a semi-untethered jailbreak, we have to open the app to initiate jailbreaking. Open Uncover and simply tap Jailbreak at the bottom. It'll pop up with an ad after it's done. Just tap the X at the top left corner. At this point, you've successfully jailbroken your iPhone. Once you tap OK, your phone instantly reboots. After you've rebooted and are back at your home screen, you should have another new app called Cydia. Cydia is essentially the default jailbreak app to add repositories that contain other apps and tweaks so you can install them on your iPhone. We'll use Cydia to add a repo containing SM server for us to install, so open it up and tap sources. If it's your first time opening City on your device, it might yell at you to do an upgrade. If it does end up asking you, just do a complete upgrade. It's usually pretty quick. So now that we're in sources, we can add a new repository by tapping edit at the top right, then add at the top left. In the dialog box that pops up, type repo.twict.com, then tap add source. You should get a bunch of messages about packages downloading. Just let it do its thing. Once it's done, tap Return to City at the bottom, then tap Search at the bottom right. Type SM Server and tap the only option that pops up. Once here, tap Modify at the top right, tap Install at the bottom, and finally tap Confirm at the top right. At this point, it'll download and install the app for you. Once it's finished, tap Return to Cydia at the bottom, and when you go back home, you should see SM Server. We can finally open this bad boy. But don't think we're done just yet. You can tap Run and access the web page on any device, but it might not work properly depending on what version of SM Server you have, as we may need to fill in some information in the settings. Tap the gear icon at the bottom right. In the settings menu, check at the bottom if it's asking for a phone number. This setting was actually in the few initial versions of its release, and if you have any of those versions, you must input your phone number, including your country code, or you might experience problems sending and receiving messages. If you don't see this in the settings, then you're good to go. As a final remark for the settings, in the newer versions, there's an option to enable SSL encryption. If you enable SSL, you must add HTTPS before the URL, as typing just your IP and port will not work. We're finally done. At this point, I hope everything's good and working. If not, drop a comment and I'll try my best to help. I hope all of you have a great day.